Oh yeah! <clears throat> Coming in like the Kool-Aid man. Hi, it's me, Brandon. Um, I am Sans Gary, and uh, it's okay. It's it's gonna be okay. He'll be back. Maybe he's just gonna be here by himself. Maybe we're just gonna keep missing each other like ships in the night, forever passing on two seas, wondering what's causing the waves. Anyhow, um, today I'm gonna be looking at the Every. It is a multi-use electronic cannabis delivery system. What the fuck? I think that's a good thing though, we'll see. It comes in a pretty interesting case, it kind of reminds me of a VHS case whenever I first saw it. Not quite tall enough, but that was a fun little nostalgic feeling. On the side, it lets you know exactly what is up. Comes with the battery, comes with the vapor tip attachment, and a 510 cartridge and refillable pod attachment, and the US be charger. This thing will do three things out of the box and they say, according to the back, they're like, hey, you know what? You you can you can dab with a cart or with one of those flat carts, so you can do your tobachos here and your your THCs there by by sticking this thing in there, or you can do one of infinite possibilities. That's that's the one that really gets me. I choose infinite possibilities. There's not an infinite section in the box. I've looked hard, but I'm, I'm waiting for them to um, do, do more things like that. So it is called the Every EVRI. Stop doing this, people. Country with a K, it's not a thing. Just Let's just spell words the way they need to be spelled. This is a personal thing. Uh, I get that it helps uh, people remember things better and makes things more searchable when they're plain words. That makes, uh, I mean, when they're not plain words, like the word every is just a normal word. So you got to make a little difference. People know that you're talking about your every, this one. The struggle is real. I get it. But for me, I'm just interested in these infinity attachments that you're promising. Let's slide this baby out. Kaboom. Just flat packed with dip on the front. It has some very simple instructions right here when you get into it. There's a QR code right there um, for everybody that lives in the future. You just stare at that with your robot eye and it will take you into a virtual reality program uh, that shows you how to use this thing. Otherwise, you will have to go to the old fashioned 2D internet and go to their website because they believe in saving paper. So they did for, you know, minimal packaging here and no manuals, not a bunch of mishmash like that. They're just like, just go to this website. We got several videos for you to look at that, that kind of walk you through how to use this thing and maintenance. And uh, if you have any questions, they just want you to talk to them. And you know, given it is pretty simple. Uh, they say it does this, and then here's the temperature settings that they recommend getting out of the gate, depending on how you're gonna use it. Um, two on vapor tip and 510 cartridge, and then uh, one on refillable pod. They also have a an extra attachment that we'll have and they have. It is a uh, quartz crystal attachment, and so that is sort of what you would think it is. And that makes it more like that, like a dab pin, uh, rather than a vape pin, and not a, a dab uh, straw, and not a, a vape ariser. It's not a vape ariser because you can't put uh, dry herb in it. That's one of the things this thing can't do. No dry herb, but you can get an extra thing that lets you just load it. You know, like a uh, like a puffco. That doesn't come that way right out of the box, um, but that is one of the attachments. That, that is one part of infinity that they have already figured their way into. This is the magnetic battery here. Um, this is the key to everything with a simple uh, button push use. It won't cut itself on when nothing's attached to it, so you can't do any weird finicky stuff with it and shock yourself or turn it into a trigger mechanism. This is the dual use system. So in this side, you can put flat cart, put your, your juicy juice, your, your, your cotton candy gusher flavored, uh, you know, whatever it is. This side is for your traditional round 510 thread carts. And then over here, they have their 
dab straw mechanism and then you also get a, a mini USB charger in there. So this is the dab straw mechanism. Uh, it looks like many we have seen. Ceramic tip and then coil down in, in the inside and then the intake system and then it has like a nice little washable mouthpiece there that you can pull out and then uh, clean anything. I'm sure they, they have this for future use and then there's a cover for that for this side so you don't stick it somewhere you don't want it to go. Yeah, we're just gonna throw this cart on. Snaps in really easy. If you didn't see that is powerful magnets. Um, that thing just really, really wants to get in there. Then we're gonna slide our cart in, wheel her on down. Whenever it makes contact, it, it, it shines, so it's like I have made contact, you know? And like it knows, it's like boop, yes, I can see it, I can feel it. We got one, two, three taps to change the temp. So we go down to green, two, three, there's red, no, 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 don't do that. Red's too intense. We don't even know what red's for. Red's for the future, red's for infinity. So we're gonna go on three. Very good. Even he didn't ramp it up too much, didn't go crazy. That's really good because you can never tell, like I get worried that uh, I'm gonna put a new pot in something or and it's just gonna, something I'm not used to and it's gonna be like fry it. Um, especially something that's multi-use for them to be able to gauge correct temperature for different devices. And like I said, you can you can have one plugged into this side too. You can be flipping and sipping and put this up and dip it and reverse it. It, it feels about the same size as any other device would. So they didn't, it's not super bulky because of it being multi-use. So uh, this is as a dipper or as a, a wand or as a, a sipper or a straw or whatever you call, I guess dab straw is probably the most popular. Yeah, we're gonna see how this thing works. This I'm more concerned about because this is not the way I tend to dab. Uh, I tend to use like a small rig like this. Okay, the flavor is good there. I thought it would be a little off, but it not at all. Like, it's a really clean pass through there. I, I would wish this was like a silicone mouthpiece. This is just like a heavy duty plastic mouthpiece that you can tell you, you can switch it out or wash it or whatever you want with it. I, I would like a metal one or um, a glass one. Uh, but this all metal construction on this tip is really good and the ceramic, like it, it, it works well. Great. Yeah, super lemony. Get a little bit on the tip there, you can clean off. It, it's cool. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, doesn't come with a lot of accessories for like uh, cleaning it or doing anything like that, which means that uh, this thing is, is built like permanent. So you're gonna get as much use out of this as you can, clean it as best as you can until you just replace the entire unit. Overall, I'm not gonna start sipping dabs all the time through a straw just because I think it's it's weird to be right up on my dabs. And I think unless you have a bunch, which I don't sit on like a big kiddie pool full of, full of dabs all the time, I, I think it's easier just to load a chamber, whatever that is, and hit it that way. So I would definitely be about the, the crystal quartz attachment. So that every, from dip device, um, these are people that always set out to make these dab straws really cool, innovative, high functioning dab straws. And they were like, we can do more. We can create a thing that does more than just that. And this was their idea. And it works the way they said it would. And it is cool that they already have two or three attachments out for it already. And so uh, we're gonna get those and uh, see if people like it or not. I enjoy it. I would use it as like a backup or like a secondary. That way I, I don't see it as my primary device. Um, I would still be a unitasker, you know. Uh, I'd, you know, flower vape out. And it'd be cool if they came out with a flower vape attachment too. Um, then it would be like the ultimate uh, Swiss Army knife. But as it stands, it is super cool and I think it's a cool idea and I can't wait to see the infinite possibilities. I'm going to go now. It was good hanging out with y'all. Hope you smoked out of your cart and dabbed and did a bowl all while I was doing this. Keeping up. Um, I didn't even do a bowl, so you're one ahead. I'm gonna go do that now.